It's Becky with A Place to Nest. I'm back with a fun video for you guys and I just have a question for you. It's July, so how far into summer vacation have your kids made it before you hear them say, I'm bored? If you're like me, you like some of their activities in the summer to be something that doesn't involve video games or watching television. You like them to be educational and creative play. That's where this video comes in for a summer boredom buster that is educational and fun as well. And it's featuring the capstone set of four fun science books. I love these books because a lot of times when you find science experiment books, they require all these crazy ingredients and things you have to go out and find and sometimes they're hard to find or they're expensive. So I love these books because these focus on items that you more than likely already have in your house like marbles or a coat hanger or pencils, just paper, some toys and things like that. So it makes it really easy to open this book up and have immediately what you need on hand to be able to do any of the activities. So like I said, there's four different books in the series. You get the Earth Science and Weather book, Material and Matter book, Light and Sound book, and Forces and Motion. So each book in this set follows the same format. So for example, in the Forces and Motion book, at the beginning it explains the definition of force and motion. You've got your activities on the inside, and then on page 20 of each of the books, it explains to you what the science is behind each experiment, which is really nice for somebody like me who I'm not terribly great at science and I'm not always good at explaining it to a younger child why things work the way they work and why certain things happen the way they do. Um, so it really helps you out as a parent or a teacher, a homeschool parent. Also at the back of each book you have a glossary of terms which is nice so you can explain to younger kids or older kids can read through. They have some extra reading suggestions which again is really great if you want to use this book to make a whole unit study. Um, it helps you to go out into your library and kind of have an idea of what maybe you want to look for that will really focus more on the topic of force and motion or light and sound, whichever book you're working through. Also, Capstone has their own website for kids called capstonekids.com, and that is in the back of the book as well. And they've got all kinds of fun crafts, science experiments, games, quizzes, and puzzles, and things like that. So it's a safe place for your kids to go to get some extra learning, um, but make it fun and kid appropriate. Another thing I love about this set in particular is it's perfect for my almost first grader. It follows along with a lot of the standards that are set for kindergarten and first graders, such as the seasons and force in motion and matter and things like that. So it really is gonna fit in perfectly with her first grade curriculum. They could have also been easily done in kindergarten if I had had them then. So it's great for younger kids and it's also really good for older kids because the experiments are so easy. A lot of these projects a kid can do on their own or maybe a younger child could do with their older sibling with really no parental supervision. So I like that. So since it is summer break, I wanted to add some more fun for my girls. So using Oriental Trading Company's great science products that they offer, I've got a couple different things that we could really add to the light and sound experiments that we already did from the book and I really wanted to focus on the power of the sun and light. So one thing I found on the website are these really neat prisms. They come in a box of 12 so they're great for classrooms and small groups and so basically the girls just went around catching the light from all different angles and putting rainbows all over the walls and they love doing that. So these are really great if you want to kind of have your own kaleidoscope or really show your kids how light refraction works and how the color spectrum works. Um, that's a great thing to have. So we love that and they had a great time using those. Also when talking about the power of the sun, we did the nature print paper, which is a light, a dark blue paper that you can put any design on, take it outside in the sun for a couple minutes and it fades and leaves the design on the paper. So this is one of the ones that we did. The girls really liked this and I think it would be fun also if you wanted to do this and then make greeting cards out of them for like grandparents or gifts or things like that. I think that'd be really fun. And it's again, using the power of the sun to make this. So that was really awesome. So if you notice the pattern here is butterflies, that is actually some of our sun catchers that I found on the Oriental Trading website. And this is an example of one of the ones that we did. They have all different varieties of sun catcher kits that you can purchase with different themes. We picked the butterflies. So just to show you a couple of the ones that we made, there's that one this one but it's nice because they have the paint on the website and everything that you're going to need to make these pretty sun catchers. There's so many easy and fun experiments in each book and then if you want to do like I did and find some more activities that really will relate back to that topic, Oriental Trading has a great selection of things for that. So love these books. They're a great addition to our homeschool library and they would be great for you if you homeschool or if you're a teacher or even if you have like some kind of a co-op that you belong to and you're in charge of maybe doing an activity with the kids. You want it to be fun 
you want it to be educational and you want it to be easy, these books definitely are a great option for that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.